Right, I'm just going to introduce you to my homemade swarm vac. Um, that's the fan box. I'm going to build it up so you can see how it works on the battery. On off switch. That fan's just mounted inside an old eek and it exits the air exits through those holes there or you can use mesh. I just happen to have that piece of board knocking about and I've got a 12 volt plug there into which I can put a solar panel to charge the battery though in reality I've never used it um, what I do is I have this voltage meter in and I can see when the voltage is getting too low this battery does about three swarms three average swarms which is pretty good really it's a 35 amp quite small um, and normally is attached to my 6 kVA generator which it starts so that's the fan box on top of that goes the purpose-built floor. Now all the interfaces have got self-adhesive tape around them at the minute. There we go. It's a bit difficult doing it one-handed, filming. down nicely so you can see if I turn the fan on it pulls the air down through the mesh and we've got this modified entrance to this floor this is the hive floor uh, which takes the vacuum tube I'll plug that in in a minute so you can see how that works but I don't know if you can see there but that floor slopes it slopes up the way and up to the sides and that's deliberate so that when the bees arrive through the entrance they roll onto the mesh and then they can crawl away onto the frames above uh, in other bee vacs I've seen the entrance the hive entrance was in the top the vacuum tube went in the top through the feeder hole and the bees would then arrive at quite a speed and impact with the top of the frames or the bottom of the box uh, this method they, they arrive quite gently and and uh, go upwards which is a natural instinct and away from the annoying wind which is behind them so on top of there goes a standard brood box no rubber seals just a standard brood box in this case it's a nat national brood box full of frames so the bees go in the entrance, via the tube, uh, crawl upwards onto the frames. So they're all ready in their final home. There's no double handling, there's no dropping them into another hive. They can go straight in. Now, you don't need this, but I use a transparent crown board so I can see what's going on. This was handy when I first started using it to see what was going on and make sure everything was okay but to be honest I use a, a solid crown board sometimes I don't bother with this and that's all held together with cargo strap which put a bit of downward pressure on the seals and uh, keep it airtight so that's the Back body complete. Now I'll I'll get the tube. Right, that's the swarm vac ready to go. With the tube in and the modified uh, feeder cover top. I've just put that bit of dowel on to to stop it sliding off during transit. Then I don't have to masking tape it down or anything. And I've made that a little bit thicker uh, than the edge of the crown board. And then when the cargo straps on it just nips it down a bit and, and make sure it's all secure that's it ready to go
Well, I've got a small swarm here and um, I've had a couple of goes of my swarm back and it works very well. Uh, so I'm going to give it another go. Fully charged battery. Plenty to go at. And make a start. Well, I've just uh, come to pick up this swarm, fairly small swarm, which has come from one of my hives there. I've got a hive here to help Gwyn, who makes country wines, and uh, the idea is the bees pollinate his orchard. So they've swarmed and uh, I need to pick them up and take them back to my place. Right, that's me uh, set up, ready to go. Swarm's still on the post. Lots of waggling going on about there, so um, obviously they've they've found some suitable places and they're, they're communicating it. So I need to get these in a hive fairly quickly in case they go. And that's the kit. Just need to hook up the battery and uh, and I'm away. These have uh, sucked in. They're moving towards the light, towards the top of the hive, which is good. And once I put a cover on there, they'll settle down. Very gentle action. Just a few bees at a time. If you let too many go down, they just block in the tube and. I'm on the, on the last of it now, just trick is not to squash the bees, just do gentle dabs, a few bees at once. I'm beginning to run around a bit now, so I think I may well have the queen. Just uh, spin around to the box, you can see. this hive now and, uh, and relocate and they're already in there, there's drone comb in there, there's a bit of stores ready to go. Right, I've got the cluster and the cluster that's forming now around the back is returning bees. These are all bees returning back from uh, scouting trips and foraging trips. So I can just leave them. They're going to run around. See how they just run around there looking for the queen, that's a kind of a bit of a frantic run around. And when they can't find her, they'll go looking for her. And she's just in there. So fairly soon I expect bees to start going in through the uh, swan back entrance. See there, returning bees are 
trying to form a cluster, that's a natural instinct when they've formed. You can see from the frantic running about, they know there's no queen there, they can't find it. So they'll do that for five or ten minutes and then take off and go and look for her. And we've got bees here coming out, which isn't a good sign, but uh, they might orientate and go back in. I'm hoping for bees to start fanning there, not to leave. But we'll see. See the bees that are leaving are orientating to the to the hive entrance. So that's a good sign if they're leaving and orientating to that entrance they'll come back for it hopefully but um, let's see how we go on. It's a cluster reforms on that fence post. I'll have to start again but the way they're behaving there I don't think the queens are. Well that's good, we've got bees arriving and going in now. That's a good sign. Bees coming out orientating and, and then going back in. That's excellent. I'm 99% sure that the queen's in there. All those bees will eventually stop running around on there and, uh, and go into this temporary hive entrance and uh, tonight I'll come back move the whole lot and put the top box on a proper floor and then that releases my swarm vac floor for, uh, for another hive not had any swarms yet and it's uh, over halfway through June so I'm suspecting they'll all kick off in the next few days so I need my swarm vac That's a good sign now, uh, bees coming out and fanning, calling the other bees in. If the queen wasn't there, they'd just be leaving, they wouldn't be fanning like that in such quantities. We've still got a cluster trying to form on the uh, fence post because they can smell the queen. These are mainly returning bees, but you can see the... And I've just spotted a queen, so we've not got the queen. Right. The bees trying to get in the hive, which suggests the queen's in there. Um, I've just sucked a, what I think might be a second queen off the fence post, so this may not be a prime swarm, which uh, it was a bit smaller than I expected. So, anyway, she's in there now, so we'll see what happens. While I was waiting, sat away and I thought I'd have a walk along the fence. Just in case that wasn't a prime swarm. And uh, we appear to have another one here. So, I'll go and start again, get the kit out. Uh, I'm going to have to brush this one off because the swarm vac's in use. Oh, two swarms. 